created you and I, he died for our sins, and all of us were created in his image. So don't worry about what you're going through. I just want to encourage you to, to give your life to Jesus, to trust in Jesus, to know that Jesus died for your sins, okay. to know that it's not because you are a bad person, you are in this situation. Different people go through different things. Did you want to have some, did you want to say something? Say that again. But there you go. That's a good point. So Jesus loves you, the homeless people, a lot more. What you're saying because Jesus was homeless. Because yes. Jesus said, foxes have holes, the birds of the nets uh, air have nests, but the Son of Man has nowhere to lay his head. Yes. So that's a good point. So because of that, it's important to give yourself totally to him. Because he loves you. But what are we doing in return? Are we reciprocating God's love? Okay, so what about giving your life to Jesus Christ, telling him that you want him to be the Lord of your life? You want. But you see, you don't work on it, you accept him, and he takes care of us, he fixes our lives. He wants you just the way you are. He doesn't want you perfect because he makes us perfect. But, but to, 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 to let Jesus know you appreciate him loving you, why don't you give your life to Jesus Christ? Why don't you become born again? And ma'am, uh, also sleeping, I just want to encourage you. Why don't you, do you want us to give, let, let me share you, let, let, let me give you the chance to give, make Jesus the Lord of your life. Because giving your life to Jesus doesn't mean that you are in some sort of religious, whatever. It just means that you have accepted him into your heart. You believe that he died for your sins. God raised him from the dead and his blood was shed for you and you accept what he did on the cross for you. That's all it means. You know, but the main thing, like you said, is that Jesus loves you. He died for your sins. And in spite of what you and I are going through, the Bible says, like I told you before, that nothing can separate us from God's love. Tribulation can't, homelessness can't, uh, 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 famine can't, uh, lack can't, homelessness can't. Nothing can separate us from God's love, which is in Jesus Christ. Okay, yes, so therefore, do you want to give your life to Jesus? Sir? I'm talking to you, all of you. Do you want to give your life to Jesus? He is the one who can change your life, turn your life around. Jesus Christ, at the end of the day, what's the point of suffering on earth and then suffering after death? Remember that you and I are going to be judged by God one day. I'm going to be judged by God. You are going to be judged by God. And the Bible says that when you and I are in Jesus Christ, we have eternal life. He gives us eternal life and He removes our sin and throws our sins into the sea of forgetfulness. And like my sister said, he, he loves us and we need to reciprocate the love. It's not a matter of saying that God loves me and I'm trying to fix it and you know, we'll see how it goes. That doesn't work that way. You understand? So do you want to give your life to Jesus? Do you want to repeat after me? I'm sure you've, you've said that many times, but this time I want you to not only repeat after me, but decide to make Jesus Christ your Lord and decide to live your life based on the Bible. And he's going to change your life. I can see that you're interested in what I'm saying. He's going to make your life better. Because it's not just a matter of getting food or drinks. Jesus wants to give you a better life. Jesus wants to give you the opportunity to, to do the good works he has uh, before ordained that you should work in them. The abundant life. He wants to give us abundant life. But how is he going to give us abundant life if we don't give him the chance to do so? You and I must give him the chance. Don't worry, it's, it's, not, it's, it's, it's just looking at me. But you and I need to allow Jesus to give us the abundant life. But we need to do that by letting him be the Lord of our life. How is he going to be the Lord of your life if you don't give him the chance? Do you understand? And being the Lord of your life doesn't mean just saying the prayer. But it means saying the prayer and really, you know, having a relationship with him, reading your Bible, Praying, you know what I mean? So let's repeat after me, uh, uh, ma'am. 
if you want to repeat after me, I know you're tired. And if you want some more food, we can give you some more. Okay. You want you want you want a, you want some more sandwiches no. for, the, for for later on. No. Some drinks. You want you want a sandwich and a drink too? Okay. Okay. So let's repeat after me. This is okay. the most important thing. This is more important than a sandwich or a drink. Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father. Ma'am, you want to say that too? Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father. I come to you in the name of Jesus Christ. I come to you in the name of Jesus Christ. I confess, I I confess, confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. That, that Jesus Christ, Christ is Lord. I believe, I believe that He died on the cross. That He died on the cross for my sins. For my, for my sins. I believe, I believe that God raised Him from the dead. That God raised Him from the dead. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, please come into my heart. Please come into my heart. Please come into my life. Please come into my life. Forgive me for all my sins. Forgive, Forgive me for all my sins. sins. Cleanse me from all unrighteousness. Cleanse, Cleanse me from all unrighteousness. From, unrighteousness. from today I belong to Jesus Christ. From, from today, today I belong to Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for saving me. Thank, Thank you, Lord Jesus, for saving me. In Jesus' name I pray. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So now that you've said this prayer, it's not just a matter of saying the prayer and that's it. You need to commit to Jesus. You need to commit your life to Jesus. Amen. You said that Jesus loves the homeless more than everybody else. But God, Jesus wants you to, to also show him your love. And you show him your love by giving your life to him. So God bless you. God bless you. Thanks for listening. Do you have Bibles? Do you have Bibles? Do you have a Bible? Do you have Say that again. Okay, you read, but I don't have one now, right? He doesn't, he doesn't have reading glasses. Oh, you don't have reading glasses? Okay. Okay. Say that again. They're asking, what number? You need a big print. Are you always here? No. You're always here. No. You want to be 3.25 or higher. 3.25 or higher. Okay. So God bless you. I mean, we, we really want to extend the love of Jesus. Not just to give you food, but to give you Jesus. Because he's more important than giving you food and drinks. You, you, you are not better than that. We need Jesus. And Jesus is the one who is going to make things work out. What did he say? Say that again. That's right. We need him more than anything. So God bless you, man. So hopefully next week we'll try to get something for you. Reading glasses. Send in the Bible. Uh, we'll try to do our best for that because that's more important. But God bless you. Thanks for listening to us. And thanks, ma'am. Thanks as you're sleeping. Yeah, God bless you. You have a Bible? Yeah, I have one. You read it every day? Yeah. You read it every day? You know about his love? Yeah. Okay, God bless you. So let's see what happens. Let's go to this side. God bless you guys bringing the good news of Jesus Christ so we're going to continue over there and I'll see you guys in a bit we don't want to just give food and drinks we want to give Jesus because Jesus is the key how you doing? We're just spreading the good news. Oh, sorry to disturb you. But we're just telling you about Jesus Christ, that Jesus loves you and died for your sins. You believe in Jesus? We're trying to stay safe, huh? We're just spreading the good news that Jesus Christ, in spite of what we're going through, He loves us. In spite of what we're going through, Jesus loves us. And Jesus is the only one who can make the difference in our lives. So I want to encourage you to just have faith in Jesus, trust in Him, and give your life to Him. So, I don't know if you want to, you, you believe that Jesus is God? And that He died for your sins? And that God raised Him from the dead? And do you want Him to come into your heart or are you already saved? I mean, I'm already, but I mean, you want, I mean... Okay, you, 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 okay. So, are you willing to turn away from sin? 
Say it again. Are you willing to turn away from sin? <laughs> but, but you see, what, what I mean by that is not, not that you have the power to do it, but if you will to do it, Jesus is going to help you because yeah, you need it, to turn it, away from how sin. you say it. Then okay. That's how you. <laughs> okay. Because we, we all have to turn away from sin. Yeah. I, I, I have to turn away from sin. All of us have to. So are you willing to do that? Yeah. And I want you to believe that this is not just a prayer, you know, we just want to just pray something and then we go. But this is a real thing. This is something that can turn your life around. Jesus Christ has turned my life around, has turned many people's lives around, and it's going to turn your life around. I, I want you to believe that. This is not just some preaching. This is real. This is Jesus. Jesus can do it. Jesus can make our lives beautiful. Jesus can turn our lives around. We just need to give our lives to Him. You know what I'm saying? Shall we, you want to repeat after me? Of course, you've just said the sinner's prayer. God bless you. Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father, I come to you in the name of Jesus. I come to you in the name of Jesus. I confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. 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 I believe that he died for my sins on the cross. I believe that he died on the cross. I believe that his blood was shed for my sins. I believe that his blood was shed for my sins. I believe that God raised him from the dead. I believe that God raised him from the dead. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Please come into my heart. Please come into my heart. Please come into my life. Please come into my life. Forgive me for all my sins. Forgive me for all my sins. Cleanse me from all unrighteousness. Cleanse me from all unrighteousness. From today I belong to Jesus Christ. From today I belong to Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for saving me. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for saving me. In Jesus' name I pray, Amen. In Jesus' name I pray, Amen. God bless you. I don't know what you're going through, but Jesus knows what you're going through. And because you've given your life to Him, I want to encourage you to just. You have a bike? No. Okay. Yeah, that's that's okay. Well, where, where 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 are you usually? Where do you usually go? I think what we need to do is we we'll try to bring Bibles going forward. But where 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 can I can we find you next time to give you the most important gift, which is a Bible? Actually, no clip. Okay. So you okay? Can you you want to give us your number? And then we can we can give you our number too, and then we can get get a Bible for you. You know, but. You've done the most important thing, which is being, being giving your life to Jesus Christ and being born again. You know, next time we're going to come uh, uh, more prepared with, with, a, with some Bibles to give to some of you. Uh, you want something to drink? This is you. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, seven. Five, four. Five, four. Okay. I, I'll call you please. And hey, my name is Antonio. Antonio. Thank you. Antonio. Thank you. Thank you for that. So God bless you, man. Yes, who is it? Please. How are you doing? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you mean like now? Right. You will you need people regularly or just now? Um, but right now, right now. I'm sure you can get. What about these people? I asked him. Yeah. Women, you gotta he used to work for me on the end. He used to work for me. Okay, thank you. Okay, so ask him. How you doing, sir? How you doing? Yeah, I think this is. You looking for work? Work at a boarding home. I'm looking for a manager to run my house, one of my houses. Okay, thank you. Okay, but if you if, if, yeah. take over there by the walk-in. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Oh, okay. Have you, have you checked down there? Right, right. Yeah, I started down there. I started down there. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. So it looks like it's a bit quiet today. Maybe we'll just try here, and then later we'll go to the other side. Is this the lady who was lying down? Yeah, yeah.
Bless you all. What is this? People down there. Further down. Further down. Oh yeah, all the way there, right? Yeah. There's some people sitting under the tree. Okay, the so tree. I'll talk to this lady first. No, Jesus. Okay, uh, yes, 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 So we'll continue, but we'll let you guys go on, 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 on Facebook. We want to say God bless you. We, we of course, being cautious and careful with the new variants of uh, uh, COVID-19 and all that, but Jesus still needs to be preached. We still want to tell people that Jesus loves them and died for their sins. So spread the word. Tell people about Jesus because the time is short and Jesus Christ is coming soon. God bless you and shalom. shalom. Amen.